People behind the lens, uh, I feel like, have an important role. We're, we're storytellers, right? We're crafting these stories for people to view when they're unable. So if, if it wasn't for people, you know, documenting certain moments, then how would it be shared? Or if it were shared, is it shared in an authentic way? Or, or is it kind of uh, being fed to you in a way that's disingenuous? When the murdering of George Floyd happened, like protests were going crazy around the nation. And when it, when it came to Houston, I, I just felt like it was my, my duty to go out there and make sure that those stories were told correctly because it's like your form of protest. I don't like to be extremely hands-on. I like to let the subject be comfortable, let them get in the correct headspace, and let them do what they do. I'm just letting you know where the light's coming from. And with uh, the Martin shoot, it was, it was cool. I just kind of like, had him get in the mindset of Martin and just let him do his thing. Uh, the moment where I looked through my selects and just saw Malcolm, Angela, uh, Dorothy, it, it, it kind of blew me away. I wanted to recreate and modernize photos of uh, these powerful black individuals uh, in a way that um, is somewhat up to date, but, but still has the same vibe. It's a wonderful thing to be able to work in this industry and still be there for your kids, you know, to take them to school. Having that work-life balance has been like so uh, essential in my life and uh, I love being able to, you know, be there for my kids and my, and my wife and still be able to get the work done. It can be tough on them as well as myself because I typically travel for work. I'm, I'm typically flying to other cities so uh, it's a little stressful when I'm, you know, gone for a week and then, you know, I'm just there for the weekend. But having that has been uh, pretty great for, for all of us and I just really love, you know, being a dad.